Hi everyone. So this will be a very short video about this thing. An electrical bus by Alex Stepanov from Bashkatastan. I'm not a fluent English speaker, but anyway, master asked me to record some kind of improvised manual for English speaker. So in case you buy this product, you will get uh, this. It's a main block with all these interfaces, battery inside, and some control circuit, I think, and transformer, whatever. So this is the main thing you pay for. You will also get this, an electromagnet with the clamps to fit your jar here, and a cord plus RCA jack. You plug it like this into your main block. You will also get some kind of Bashkirkubis, I think, or whatever you can use your jar hub, uh, but it should fit <laughs> into this gap and uh, should have magnetic lamella or something, whatever. So I can use like uh, Fedor Chuchalin jar hub just to demonstrate how the thing works with the third party hub. You will also get a wall charger <laughs> made in China, but uh, it said that it should work within American and European continents, and you can plug this thing in this circuit, okay, like this. You see, there is green light. It's ma it makes sense that there is a contact between the main block and the charger. You plug this thing into your circuit, and then it will turn red. That means that the thing is charging, and then it will turn green back again when, when it's fully charged. So my one full flash. Uh, what we else we have here? Test button. Okay, you push it and you see how many charge you get. There is three indicators and this thing should work for like approximately in for eight hours without charge. Main switch, you power off and power on this thing. Uh, a tumbler to adjust the frequency of this generator. You must match the frequency of the generator with your jaw hub to make this thing sound at least. So let's see how to put this in. Okay, so here we have these clamps, and you see there is two bolts. You can use this Higgs key, but I, I think you have to buy this Higgs key for 2.5 millimeters in diameter because. I'm not sure if make make her if Alec uh, will be able to provide this thing. <laughs> it, it's actually it's easy to buy, but anyway. So you can adjust this both like this, but don't overdo with it. You have you just have to fix the jar hub. You see the plexiglass, so be gentle. Okay, we can put it like this. We can fix it or we can fix it. Uh, I'll just fix this. For the first time just to show how it should work one and two okay and then i can rotate like half of clockwise and half of clockwise here just to fix the sink uh what now i have to switch the sink on and to hear the sound and now i have to match the frequency of my jaw hub with the frequency of the generator. So I put the sink against my keys and then rotate the, the dial. So this is how the thing sounds, and you, you, you heard that I uh, just uh, untuned it from the main key, so there was kind of some of bits. Uh, okay, so I unscrew this thing, and I will uh, fit some other hub, like one made by Stepanov into this. Actually, I can remove the screw just to show uh, how this thing is constructed with in, under these clamps. Okay, so 
I removed these clamps, these bolts, and you see an electromagnetic core, and actually you can just hold it like this. So it should work without even without fixation. But let's try. So I can adjust, uh, indirectly I can adjust the volume of jar hub by adjusting the frequency of generator. Uh, so what else? As I said before, you should not overdo with these bolts because you see there is a plastic. So, uh, the coil, the electromagnet, it can become warm with the time, but it's kind of okay, I think. Uh, whatever, what else we have here? I uh, must have said that there will be some kind of external case for the device, so you can't can put it like this uh, with these straps and play without holding the device. Uh, whatever. Whatever, whatever. I think, uh, yeah, I think this all is basically easy to operate, so it shouldn't provide much troubles for you. So, thank you. Bye.